Hello everybody, I know that it's Tuesday and I am usually Monday's child but I begged everybody else to let me push the vlogs back a day this week because I suck and I went to the gym yesterday after I got back from college instead of recording a vlog for you guys and I really didn't want to rush it because I wanted to talk about the two important things which happened last weekend. So here I am today on Tuesday instead of Monday with lots of time to say what I want to say about the fault in our stars which is the first big thing and well not so much that I really want to say about Sherlock season finale but I wanted to mention it and rhapsodize about it a bit so my copy of The Fault in Our Stars arrived last Friday and look, I got a hankerfish um, and I promptly spent two days solid reading it and finished it Sunday morning despite being ill in bed all day Saturday so that is a slight indication of just how quickly I read this and um, the others are completely adamant and completely rightly so that we have no spoilers in our vlog this week because it's not fair to anyone else that might happen to catch sight of it that hasn't finished the book yet but what I thought was one of the things I really really loved about the book was all the references John made to other texts and poetry plays within the book and whilst a couple of the major ones were fictional um, quite a few of the others weren't and that was one of my favourite things about the book other than the storyline so I figured if I can't talk about the book itself I can talk about things that John references within it it just so happens that in the book was referenced two things which I have recently studied or have reason to love for one reason or another and the first was actually the quote which the title came from which I hadn't previously realised, The Fault in Our Stars um, which comes from a quote from Julius Caesar played by Shakespeare and Cassius, a friend of Brutus um, these are the two people which eventually kill Julius Caesar maybe that's a spoiler but this happened quite a while ago guys so sorry about that he says, the fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. And the fact that John chose to use this, this is, I might go a bit classic skeek on you here, just as a warning, guys. This is so symbolic, because the whole idea of Brutus and Cassius killing Caesar, it has so many different interpretations on so many levels, because on one you can take that Brutus was often told he was destined to kill Caesar, his ancestor thousands of years ago had been the one who had kicked the last king of Rome out of the country and some said that Brutus was therefore destined to do the same to rid the Roman Empire of someone who was becoming a dictator. On another level you could see it as two friends who despite the fact they love their other friend dearly do what is best in the interest of their country in the interest of their empire and you could see that as a noble thing or you could see that as a terrible thing, as people who would betray their friends for a cause which, while big, and yeah, it could be seen as noble, but you shouldn't betray your friends on some levels, you could see it as that. And then on another way, you could just see it as the petty squabbling of three noble men, one of whom had had the fortune to become far more powerful than the other two. So that quote, I loved, I loved that reference. And the second big reference, which I really loved, which, I won't analyse in such detail, partly because it's not a classics reference and therefore I don't have as much information stored in my head about it, um, was the use of the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock, the poetry that um, Hazel recites at some point. And I recently studied that for my English coursework and I just think T.S. Eliot is a stunning poet and that particular poem is really amazing, especially the few lines she quotes. And the fact that John Green chose to use such a well-known poem in his own book, it really reminded me of a quote that I actually used in my English coursework, which was, this is something T.S. Eliot himself said, that a poet should endeavour to bring poetry into the world in which the audience lives and not to transport the audience into some imaginary world totally unlike their own. And that is so completely true of all of John Green's writing. I think he manages to paint such a true picture of teenagers because it's so difficult because often when you're reading a book when you're 12 you want to read about 15 year olds when you're 15 you want to read about 17 year olds and now most of the books that I read personally aren't about people my age they're about adults or university students and 
John Green's books are some of the few which I find truly seem to portray people my age as they really are. I don't know how he does it, but he does it amazingly well. And another T.S. Eliot quote, actually, which it reminded me of, the whole thing about John Green using all these references, and that's an incredibly Eliot thing to do. Eliot did that a lot in all of his work. One of the big things which Eliot believed was that immature poets imitate and mature poets steal. And I think John showed that in an exemplary way in this work because he uses so many references from other things to such advantage. And they really take the book just to another level. They mean you can search for more meaning within what you're reading. Okay, I think I should probably stop talking now because I'm aware that this vlog is going to be considerably longer than our limit of, I think it was four minutes, so it was a while ago that we said that. And I haven't had time to talk about Sherlock, but all I will say is I cried so much, and not even when he fell. I cried at the bit at the end with John in the graveyard when he was saying, I was so alone and I owe you so much, and oh, so many tears. It was such a good programme. That was such a good episode. And I'm so happy that there'll be a season three, but so angry that we have to wait so long for it. So it was nice talking to everybody. I hope I didn't bore you too much with my endless facts about Julius Caesar, classic student. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at the three. Bye.